Joe Riddington Sr. ran the 25th Iditarod in 1997 when he was 80 years old. It says something about the man and the race he founded that running at 80 seemed perfectly normal. The father of the Iditarod wore the number one race bib that year, but the trail cut him no slack. Exhausted by all the attention before the race, by the first night in Squentna, he slept fitfully on the frozen river, struggled through his chores, and couldn't close his sled bag. He looked like a man who wouldn't make McGrath, let alone known. Yet more than any other musher out there, he wasn't alone. He ran a race and a reunion. In Squentna, there was a turkey dinner shared with his old friend Joe Delia and a warm hug from Dee Dee John Rue. Daughter-in-law Barb would be a frequently appearing angel on the trail. By the time he reached Nikolai, there were blazing blue skies and a former sponsor's silk pies. A 24-hour layover gave plenty of rest to musher and dogs in time for stories. After lunch, Joe recollected old adventures of dogs and fish and flying, of Susan Butcher and driving dogs to the summit of McKinley. It was a fine afternoon. But it was a cruel night. A dog named Nip died in Reddington's team on the way to McGrath. That took the heart out of his race, which then got worse. He injured his back in a fall near Iditarod, the Gold Rush ghost town halfway to Nome, and made a mistake in switching to a lighter sled that was harder to handle. He drove on, however, and Unilocleat was a tonic on the Norton Sound coast. Old friend Mary Brown had a steak dinner for him. He fed frozen fish to his dogs in the sun, like giving a popsicle to a kid in the summertime, he said. He signed autographs, bannered with people he'd known for years. Harton, the old musher, found his legs and his dogs responded. His 40-mile dash to Shack Tulik was the beginning of a 270-mile finish in less than 55 hours, faster than every musher in the race but champion Martin Booser. Reddington said he'd run again in 2000, but he died of cancer in 1999. What was most memorable about his last Iditarod? Look at these pictures of him, that weathered smile. He carried the trail with him, and a promise. We're going to Nome. Come on along. It'll be a great adventure.